Okay, so the problem with doing any type of project <laughs> on anything and bringing a firefighter with you is the fact that he's gonna stop every opportunity there is and make sure you're doing it the safe and proper way. So I have my nifty ladder here, which we're using to get on top of the edge of the trailer because we're gonna be installing something. And of course, I had to make sure there were an extra two rungs at the top, right? We had to have our proper rigging. Yeah, proper rigging. We had to have our, have our proper tie-off points. And uh, so now we can climb seven feet in the air. And I know a lot of people are now going to say that they have somebody who got hurt or killed because they fell off of a ladder only seven feet in the air. And I actually know somebody personally who just went through that. And if you followed my channel for any amount of time, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. That being said, we need to do it the right way. Thank you for caring. You're welcome. You're also missing a landing, but that's okay. So we are out here getting the trailer all ready using my trusty e-trailer inverter generator. I have it on eco mode. What's really cool about it is even on eco mode, when we kick on the vacuum cleaner, this thing gets out of eco mode automatically and ramps up on its own. So once we turn off the vacuum cleaner, it's gonna power back down to its eco mode and it's gonna conserve more fuel. Then of course got my trusty new DeWalt fan, 20 volt max. I have so many DeWalt tools, it's not even funny. This one right here is actually one I just got in December. First time I've had a chance to use it. Again, it holds a 20 volt max battery pack. I got this crazy beast right here. Also holds a 20 volt max. I've used this a ton. This is a tripod light system, kind of like a work light, and it really can illuminate a huge area. Plus, the head of it will articulate, and again, the tripod allows it to actually go up really tall, but this is really cool. Got this in December as well. So we are climbing to the top of the cargo mate trailer to look at the roof, which has hardly any type of a pitch to it, so it can collect water if I don't put it at a slight incline. We will be mounting an accessory right here on top, probably the most convenient possible way to do it, but it's gonna require me to run the wire over the side or through the top, and I wanna avoid drilling into the roof, so let's kind of evaluate what our roof area looks like here. You know, it's actually pretty clean but we'll clean it off. Anyways, let me show you guys what we're gonna be mounting up here today. Hey guys, so I have the coolest upgrade for the trailer yet. And as you can see, it's Italian, Frigile. So we're gonna unbox this and see what's next. All right guys, so what I have under here is probably the single coolest invention I've shown on my channel in a long time. You guys remember the solar panel that we put on the front of the goose box of the fifth wheel that we use to maintain the battery. Well, we are adding a solar battery maintainer now to the trailer, except this thing is 50 watts, 12 volt, 50 watt output. This is really cool. Let me show you why. When you flip it over, the whole back is 3M, 300 LSE, double-sided tape. So this pretty much just peels and sticks to anything you need to put it on, and it makes installing it a lot easier. With this much double-sided tape, I really doubt it'll ever come loose. And it's 3M brand, so you know it's good stuff. Now this is manufactured by Duravolt Industries, Indestructible Solar. They are based out of California. They are the same manufacturers of the solar panel that we put on the goose box. If you bought that item, you probably are pretty impressed with it because it's a really, really great item. That only puts out between eight and 10 watts. This puts out 50 watts and it's self-regulating. So you don't need to buy a regulator to actually connect this to your battery. And that's what the manufacturer says. On his website, he has several other types and I will put the website in the description of this video if you wanna purchase the product. But this is really, really cool. So this one's gonna be going on my trailer and we may put some of these on other trailers as well. But we are gonna mount this to the top of the trailer up here. We just need to make sure the surface area is clean. I don't wanna drill through the roof, so we're gonna go around the side right under the drip edge and then I'll put a wire loom around it and we'll seal up the hole in the outside really well so no water can get into it. So let's get started cleaning up the roof.
Okay, now we are going to peel off the backing, this 3M. I'll hold the top if you wanna peel that part off. Okay, so I've placed the panel on top now, just pressing down to adhere it completely. I have the plug here at the end, just so I can route it over the door and under the drip edge. This really shouldn't go anywhere. And what I will likely do is take some lap sealant and run a bead of lap sealant around the edge of it as well, just so wind or rain or whatever doesn't eventually get under here. But with as much 3M adhesive that's on the bottom of this thing, I don't think I have anything to worry about it peeling off. Okay guys, so I used some wire holders here and here, stainless steel fasteners, created a drip loop right here. So if water runs down, it'll drip off here instead of going back up into the actual trailer. Now I'm gonna seal up the edge here and I'm gonna put a bead of sealant all the way around the edge of the panel. Okay, so I've used a black lap sealant around the edge of the solar panel. Don't know if it was needed. The 3M tape that covers the entire back of this panel would probably be more than sufficient to hold it on there. But I didn't want the chance that, you know, a heavy wind mixed with rain or whatever could get underneath it and start causing it to peel off. So this is essentially just to seal up the edge, put it around the end here, and also put it on the hole where the wire is going through the side. Okay, what's cool about this solar panel is that they give you several different types of connectors. I have the one that connects to the battery, I have one that plugs into a 12 volt socket, and then I have the clips that'll clip onto the battery. So this is what I'm gonna use so I can have it permanently attached to the battery. Okay, so we have the panel mounted up top. It's routed around the edge through there, lap sealing all the way around, lap sealing around the hole, and it runs all the way across the front interior goes all the way around here, drops down underneath, follows along, comes out here, and we have it connected to the negative and the positive terminal of the battery. Again, this solar panel produces 50 watts of power, and it should be more than enough to maintain this AGM battery that we have in here. So this is probably one of the easier installs. The thing you're gonna to have to figure out for yourself is how you want to run the wire. Some people are gonna feel more comfortable just drilling through the roof, dropping it through and putting lap sealant. In my opinion, I prefer to do it this way simply because I can take advantage of the drip edge that's already there to funnel water around it. Plus I put a drip loop at the bottom to prevent any water from following the line into the trailer. But very simple to install. Again, I have the lap sealant around the solar panel up top to prevent it from catching any kind of wind while I'm traveling. It's just that extra piece of precaution. Don't know if it's needed, it probably isn't, but I like to do things a little bit overkill anyways. Aside from that, we have everything wrapped up. This is really, really a simple install to do. These panels aren't what I would consider to be a very inexpensive panel. They run between $355 and $375 for the panel. But again, this is a 50 watt panel. This isn't the smaller, you know, 10 watt panel or 15 watt panel. This is gonna provide significantly more power. It's self-regulated. You don't need a solar controller or regulator. You can plug it directly into your battery and you shouldn't have any problem. And these are all claims that the manufacturers have made. So I'm simply reiterating what they've told me. Anyways, guys, I will put a link in the description of this video if you're interested in this product. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.